At its core, Agenda 21 is about control. Control over land, natural resources, and entire populations. It seeks to control the air by regulation of carbon emissions, the ground by sustainable development, and the sea through environmental regulations. Officially stated, Agenda 21 is a comprehensive plan of action to be taken globally, nationally and locally by organizations of the United Nations system, governments and major groups in every area in which human impacts on the environment. Because being human will always have an impact on the environment, Agenda 21 paves the way for extraordinary UN control. When you boil it down, there are nine basic tenets of Agenda 21. Move citizens off private land and into urban housing. Create vast wilderness spaces inhabited by large carnivores. Eliminate cars and create walkable cities. Support chosen private businesses with public funds for sustainable development. Make policy decisions that favor the greater good over individuals. Drastically reduce the use of power, water, and anything else that creates carbon pollution. Use bureaucracies to make sweeping decisions outside of democratic processes. Increase taxes, fees, and regulations. And finally, implement policies meant to incentivize a reduced population. This equation has four factors, a little bit of multiplication. So you've got a thing on the left, CO2, that you want to get to zero. And that's going to be based on the number of people, the services each person's using on average, the energy on average for each service, and the CO2 being put out uh, per unit of energy. So let's look at each one of these and see how we can get this down to zero. Uh, probably one of these numbers is going to have to get pretty near to zero. Uh, that's back from high school algebra. But let's, let's take a look. Uh, first, we've got population. Uh, the world today has 6.8 billion people. That's headed up to about 9 billion. Now, if we do a really great job on new vaccines, health care, reproductive health services, we could lower that by perhaps 10 or 15 percent. Finally, Implement policies meant to incentivize a reduced population. The Earth just cannot handle the sheer number of humans who live here. Something has to give. And I believe that it's up to us who have lived a good life to make sure that our children will have the opportunity to live good lives too. I have lived a good life. 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 Finally, implement policies meant to incentivize a reduced population. Every year, millions of imperfect babies are born, destined for a life of struggle and hardship. But it is the rest of us who pay the ultimate cost. Billions of dollars that could be used to better society are instead wasted on the malformed. There must be a better way. And there is. Agenda 21 is coming soon. Finally, implement policies meant to incentivize a reduced population. For millions of years, this lake thrived. But now it is dying poisoned by humans who put themselves above nature. It's time to stop the killing. It's time to heal our planet. Finally, implement policies meant to incentivize a reduced population. It's time to remove your footprint. Agenda 21 is coming soon. Controlling our every impact on the environment means controlling every aspect of our lives. What we eat, how we travel, where we live, how we live. But no is still an option. <laughs>